If one or more of the uh, domestic automakers fail, the consequences could be many. One you may not have thought about, lost technology. Could this kill the electric car again? CNNMoney.com's Poppy Harlow has our energy fix from New York. Hi there, Poppy. Hi, Heidi. Well, it's a possibility. As you all know out there, the big three, they're looking for money from Congress, but so far, none has come their way. As a result, Nobel laureate Dr. Barton Richter, who I spoke with yesterday, says he fears that if the automakers fail, the U.S. could lose critical technology to its overseas competitors. He points to GM's Chevy Volt. It's a plug-in hybrid. It's set to be released as of now in 2010. The Chevy Volt is a very important product. It's important not only to the auto industry, but it's important to our energy security. Uh, it's supposed to be a plug-in hybrid with a 40-mile electric range. If the entire vehicle fleet in the United States were all 40-mile plug-in hybrids, our gasoline consumption would drop by 60%. That means there's a lot of oil that we don't have to report, import, and there's a lot of money that we don't have to export. Impressive statistics. You heard it 40 miles without using a single drop of gas. After that, it becomes a hybrid electric using just a small amount of gas. And Richter says the battery that's used in the Volt is different and better than what the competition has. Hmm. He says it would be a true shame, Heidi, uh, to pull the plug on GM before what he is calling a revolutionary product set to hit the market in less than two years. Huh. Heidi? Well, a lot of people have probably seen that documentary, Who Killed the Electric Car. Yep. GM, GM had a plug-in nearly 10 years ago, but then they got rid of it. So some people, are, I am sure, are asking why bail them out now. It's a great question. We asked Dr. Richter that exact question. Uh, here's what he had to say about GM's CEO and the company's EV1 electric car. Look, I talked to Rick Wagner about the electric car. I told him not to uh, uh, get rid of it. They made the wrong decision. And I believe Rick Wagner said last year or earlier this year, that was one of the worst decisions he had ever made. Well, that's not the only criticism of the big three automakers. For years, they pushed big SUVs. GM makes the Hummer. They fought against raising fuel efficiency standards, making the current bailout request quite an uphill climb. By the way, the maker of that documentary, Who Killed the Electric Car, is coming out with a new film called Revenge of the Electric Car. But with automakers on the verge of collapse, the future of the electric car is in serious doubt. And Heidi, this morning, we saw oil prices fall below $50. That makes pushing this technology a lot harder. Heidi? Yeah, sometimes it does, that's for sure. Poppy Harlow, sure appreciate it. Thanks.